Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and today we're going to be talking about Marvel Strike Force. We've had a couple dev updates, so last week there was not a dev update, but this week they went ahead and put two dev updates out, so we're going to go over both of them, both going over cheating and the Red Star mechanic that's going to be introduced to the game. But first, if you're just now finding my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the newest content. All right, and welcome back. So first we're going to talk about this cheating really quick. So this has been brought up a couple times over the last several weeks. And the devs have put out a few notices about what they're doing in order to curb, curb the cheating or get rid of the accounts where they have verified that there's been cheating. Now, I'm not going to read through this whole thing. I think everybody, they can go ahead and uh, head to the Marvel Strike Force Dot com website go to the update section and it's all here i'll also leave it up here on the screen as i talk through some of this but i think some of this is really important to really touch on first i think we can all agree that cheaters really do uh, suck all the fun out of the game i mean even even the devs here have talked about how past blitzes have been taken advantage of and it's really knocked a lot of those of us who are really trying to get those character shards and really do this through honest channels, it just sucks the fun out, it causes issues, morale issues overall, and just doesn't make you want to, to, to really jump into those game modes that are being taken advantage of. So it looks like going through, they are really taking a serious look at the cheaters. They have banned quite a few cheaters. Like right here, it talks about that, that they have permanently banned over 400 accounts, which is really cool. They do have a zero tolerance policy on cheating. They also say here that there is no exceptions. If you're cheating, we will find you and we will ban you, which is awesome. Uh, the software that they're using they um, they've acknowledged that as a community, people have asked, you know, how are you doing this? How do we know exactly what you're doing in order to get rid of these cheaters? And I think that the developers have taken a good stance and not revealing how they're doing it because that's where a lot of the issues come from, right? Once people, once cheaters know exactly what's being done in order to counter or detect them, then they're going to go ahead and find a way around it. No matter what, it doesn't matter what system you put out there, and it doesn't matter what game it's in, people always find a way around it, which is just ridiculous, in my opinion, because you, you have people out there that just want to ruin things for everybody else, and it just it, it makes no sense. It's like all those freaking calls that you get on your doggone phone, people trying to suck money out of you or, or screw you up in one way or another, it's, it's ridiculous. Those people, they really, really... <laughs> freaking irritate me um and you know this is no exception again people trying to take advantage of a system what fun is there in that other than the fact that you know what there may be a thrill in figuring out loopholes in a system and getting through it all right well have fun with that me i play games because i like the challenge i like going through and building teams up i like collecting things things like that so that's why i do games i don't do it to cheat anyway so let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit on here. Um, right here, this paragraph here, I do want to take a look at this a little bit. It says their focus going forward will be on prevention. There's nothing that they can do in previous blitzes, like the pyro blitz they're talking about here. It says we recognize that past blitzes have been exploited, but that will not be the case moving forward. Pyro blitz and all future events will be the focus of our ongoing efforts, which is great. Cheat detection, prevention, awesome. This is constantly evolving, which I think is great. But they did say, with that being said, they can't retroactively go through and address all past in instances of cheating. I mean, that would take way too much effort, in my opinion. And, and you know, they're probably thinking the th same thing. It's wasted effort. They really need to focus on the cheating going forward in the game to relieve the stress and the issue with that overall. And then this last paragraph talks about you know, and while catching cheaters can feel like a game of cat and mouse, they will not stop. They are focused on this. They're gamers just like we are, and they feel that cheaters have no place in the game at all. 
you know, it's not like it's not like they're sitting on their laurels here. It seems like they're really putting some efforts out there to get rid of some of that cheating. And um, uh, I, I for one, am, ha am happy that they're constantly evolving this process and getting rid of those people. Because again, um, I agree, there's no place for that in this game. So with that, we're going to go ahead and talk about the introduction of Red Star Orbs. Ugh. Me, personally, I feel like they're rushing. I think they're rushing things and putting things out way too fast, which is forcing people to do one of two things. Either quit the game because they can't keep up, they can't stay competitive, and they don't want to spend the money. And number two, the other thing is you got to spend the money in order to stay competitive. One of my frustrations recently has been with the Magneto event. They have put that behind a paywall. You cannot get Magneto the first time around unless you pay money. I think it would have been a much better, much better if they made it difficult, but not impossible. So, I mean, if you want to put the time in there, you want to go some of those sleepless hours and you want to really grind that out. I feel that if you're that dedicated of a player, then you should have that opportunity in order to unlock Magneto that first time. That's my two cents. There may be some people out there who agree who or, who do, or who do not agree. I do not agree, though, with it being put behind a paywall and you having to pay money in order to, in order to unlock them the first time around. I think that maybe, maybe you could have made it to where if you really put the blood, sweat, and tears into it, maybe you unlock them at a three or a four, and then... You know, the people who want to put money into it. I don't want to discount people who want to put money into a game. Not at all. I've put money into this game. But if you want to put money into the game, then maybe you can unlock him, unlock him at a 4 or a 5, at a higher star level. Just, you know, don't make it one or the other. Allow for some variety in there. So for me specifically, I think I may be able to get through the first four tiers for Magneto. But... Um, but I will not unlock them this first time around. I'm hoping to unlock them the second time around. So with that, again, Red Stars, there's been quite a bit of uh, controversy out there. Not really controversy, but a lot of concern around the Red Stars. Again, moving too fast. So they have, they have addressed a few things, and we are going to read some stuff through here, and I'm going to give a little bit of feedback on, on kind of my thoughts on this. But Red Stars here, I think we all understand what Red Stars are. You have the gold stars, and then we're going to get red stars through red star orbs. You got two different orbs here. You got the red star orbs, and then you got the elite red star orbs. And this adds to the overall power of your character by boosting base stats, which is your damage, your health, your armor, your focus, and your res and resistance. Basically, the exact same thing that we already get out of the Stark tech. So they're just they're doubling up on that. Not really understanding why. However, the Red Stars do take into account all gear levels and Stark Tech bonuses. So obviously it's going gonna, it's gonna to boost on top of that. But two mechanics that boost the exact same thing, I don't think it's necessary. So anyway, it's saying as a result, a character who is more powerful and ready to take on enemies that were previously too tough to conquer. So obviously with the, with the raids and the difficulty of things, they didn't intend for anybody to really master those very quickly. Um, until they had some of these later mechanics in place. So how do Red Star Orbs work? So Red Star Promotions are items that only drop from Red Star Orbs and Elite Red Star Orbs. So we went over that. Once you pull a Red Star Promotion, it can only be applied to corresponding character, to that specific character. So you're going to, it's basically like shards, but a little bit different, but it's going to apply to a specific character. Just kind of going through this, you're going to have Red Star Orbs that contain Red Star characters leveling from 1 to 4, and then you got the Elite Red Star Orbs, which contains Red Star characters from level 4 to level 7. One of the cool things here is that, let's say that you, like in this instance here, you have Yondu at a 2 star, but you pull a 4 star Red Orb character out of there, then you're going to get the first 2 stars, and then once you get Yondu up a little bit more to three and four stars, then those other two stars will apply. And then once you get Yondu up to a five star, you'll see that you have four red stars and one gold star. So it is cool that that is retroactive. They're not wasting that. It's just, again, I don't think it's necessary right now. Again, moving, moving too fast. Uh, they can be acquired for characters that, have, that haven't been unlocked yet. So they're just going to sit there until you can use them. 
And then um, Red Stars can drop for all characters except Ultimus and Ultron. They're saying that they're going to announce plans later for their top tier characters, which is weird because Ultimus really isn't a top <laughs> top tier character right now. However, they have talked about a uh, a rework on Ultimus coming sometime. So how are we going to get Red Stars? Obviously, there's going to be a way to pay for them. Uh, they are saying that it's going to be similar to some of those offers that you see where you can only purchase, you know, you have three purchases um, of that specific offer. And then once you purchase those three, that offer is not available to you anymore. So there will be that. Obviously, there's a pay option. We know that. Uh, the seven-day calendar, there's going to be an opportunity for us to get Red Star Orbs from that. Red Star Blitzes, typical thing there. You run Blitz, you collect your Red Star Orbs. And then there are some, uh, a call out here for duplicates. If you pull a character with a number of Red Stars equal to or lower than the amount you have currently for that character, you will receive Elite Red Star Orb Fragments. All right, well, that's cool. And then you build up those, those Elite Red Star Orb Fragments so that you can use them to again, what, level four through level four through seven for red stars. They this last paragraph here talks about them releasing the information on this in order to get player feedback. And that they feel that this is going to be a new and fun way to experience the game. I'm not sure which player feedback they're they're talking about because if you take a look at almost any feedback about this nobody nobody is really on board with this other content creators are really not on board with this it's just it's something that they had on their roadmap and it's something they're that they're going to throw out there so i don't know why they put this blurb in there about about paying attention to provided player provided feedback it's just well you know what it's coming we don't know when but it is coming uh, so we'll see kind of how it plays out. I am uh, I'm very reserved on this one. I'm really not a fan of this right now. I think this could have come out much later because there's enough mechanics in the game in order to level your characters up. If you're putting content out, it requires you to put character improvement mechanics in the game such as this out so fast, then maybe you need to slow down a little bit. Because I know that, you know, you got people live, leveling up to 70 now. Very few people are even getting through the Ultima 6 raids at 100%. It's just, um, yeah. So, anyway, there's my two cents on that. I think they're doing a fantastic job with the cheaters from what we can see. And they're going to continually evolve that. That is awesome. Really commend them for, for putting those measures in, in, in there into the game. Because it really needs to be done. We really need to weed those people out so so that we can have fun with the game. I think here with the Red Stars, Fox Next, if any of you guys are listening out there, I think, you know what? You're gamers. You love the game. We love the game as well. Again, so much about this game is absolutely fantastic. The game is awesome. It's just some of the, some of the fast moving, some of the things that are being done is, is just not needed, in my opinion. However... Um, we need to slow down, let everybody catch up, and so we can enjoy the game and not have to move so fast. It's almost feeling like a job to jump into this game and stay competitive with it. There may be some, some people who agree, some people who don't, but uh, that's kind of where I am with this. I'll continue to create content on the game because I do, at the core, love this game. It is really cool. I just really hope that uh, future decisions and plans for the game are really thought carefully about and 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 done in a good way so there you go everybody that's what i had for you tonight just quickly going over the measures that they're taking for cheating and then the uh, red stars you know I'd, I'd really be interested in knowing what you guys think about it i know i know some of you may just put down in the comment section well you already covered it most of us don't like it okay i understand that but feel free to put your comments in the comment section below anyway i want to thank you for watching the video um also Really quick, on my main channel page, I do have a link there. Follow me on Twitter. Jump into my Discord. The links are there. Again, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.